Hi guys, so I got asked about getting Mech Commander 2 working on Windows 10. This is one, it's actually fairly easy to get going, but you, yeah, I'm just trying to save you a little bit of time here. Okay, so if you actually search for Mech Commander 2 My Abandonware or just Abandonware, you should find this place, which is obviously www.myabandonware.com slash game slash Mech Commander. Anyway, you can see the link up there. I will put it in the description. As with anything, I will say, if you've got any doubts, do check it first. Um... Yeah, don't trust someone who tells you just go and download a file. I know I've said that multiple times now, but yeah, just don't do that. Anyway, once you click on the download, you're going to get these two options. You've got the RIP version and the ISO version. You're going to want both of those files. Uh, the RIP version works, but the sound doesn't, for me anyway. And the ISO version doesn't work, but the sound does. So we're going to take the sound from the ISO version and we're going to put it in the RIP version. Right, so once you've got those two files, you are going to need the ability to mount an ISO. I'm going to be using Demon Tools Lite. Um, anything you trust to use, go for that. I would say Demon Tools Lite is a good way to go. I think Power ISO is safe now, but in the past I have had problems with it. So yeah, I, I personally would stick with Demon Tools. You're also going to need a legacy component. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you how to get that. So if you open up your Windows settings, once you're in here, you just want to type in Windows Features and you'll get this, Turn Windows Features On or Off. And once you open that up, you're going to see this here and you just want this legacy components and we're just going to tick Direct Play. Now, I don't know if Direct Play is actually needed, but if you're running old games, you probably want to do this anyway. Right, okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to open up the, this one here, which should say Mech Commander 2 ISO. I'm just going to drag that onto the desktop there and let it extract. And inside here, we should see a couple of files. You see, you've got a couple there. Now what I'm going to do is going to open up Demon Tools and mount this. So here we go. We've got Demon Tools open. I'm just going to click on this and select mount. Okay, so we're looking for Mech Commander 2 ISO. There we go. We'll just open up that one. And now it's going to ask you what to do with it. And I'm just going to do run setup.exe. Right. And now uh, what it will do is allow you to install the game. Once you've installed the game, you're, you're golden there. You don't have to actually go into the game. And you're actually not going to need the Demon Tools. So you can actually unmount it from this point here. Well, right, next thing you want to do is extract the RIP file. So we're just going to grab this and we're just going to pull that onto the desktop as well. Right, there we go. Now, this is the game here. Now, this will actually run, but it just, it's not going to have any music and you won't hear any talking over the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to navigate to where I installed the ISO version. The default installation place for it is C Drive, Program Files, x86, Microsoft Games, Mech Commander 2. You want to go into this data folder and we want the sound here. I'm just going to drag that onto the desktop to make life a bit easier. I'm actually going to go ahead and uninstall the uh, Mech Commander 2 there. Right, now the last thing we need to do is we need to open up this Mech Commander 2 rip. We're going to go into the data here. We're going to delete this sound and then we're just going to drag this sound into here. And now this should work. If I go and open this up here, now the video, video might go a bit funky here. What we're looking for is this one here. I'm just going to send to desktop as a shortcut. There we go. And now it's double click. Right, okay, so that is running. Um, I've had no problems with the campaign so far. I've gone through about four of the missions, I think, at least four of the missions. So I've not encountered any problems yet. If you do, drop it in the comments section. If you find a solution to it as well, drop that in there, be useful for people. But as I said, it's just a case of being able to actually run an ISO, get the files in there, take the original install sound files and put them in the RIP version. Anyway guys, I hope you found that useful. I hope it helps you get playing the game. Have fun. Catch you all soon. Bye. So I'm sure we all know that YouTube has kind of screwed over us small creators at the moment. If you feel inclined to pressing that subscribe button, I will love your face so hard. So hard. Wait, that sounds wrong. Or does it sound right?